What's up guys, this is the DJ Puppet, and today I'm going to be reviewing some more Cuphead Pops. So today here I've got Mugman and the Devil. I actually, um, I headed out, I just was there about two hours prior to, up, uh, to recording this, so about three hours prior to uploading. Um, I was at Elements Games Collectibles and Apparel again. And they actually were kind enough to be able to take my custom Bronze Glitter Boris Pop and they were able to do a trade for these two. So, yeah, because I know not really many people were interested in the Boris, so hopefully with elements that have it now, hopefully more people will end up seeing it. And I really hope someone takes interest in it. Um, I will probably post a video if it ends up selling. Once again, thanks Elements for um, taking that. So here we've got Mugman the Devil. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna take a look at the boxes. I'm just gonna take a look. Just take a look at them. So first we got like a Mugman and the Devil on the front of them. It's numbers 311 and 312. I don't know why I, I only say, I, don't, I keep forgetting to say the numbers of the pops in the videos I make. I remember sometimes, but most of the time I forget. So I'm just not gonna say the numbers anymore. So, um, anyway, on the side, we got the full picture of the devil. This one is where he is the person standing in the poker chips and has the cards. Uh, it's from the, kind of from the promo images. Um, then we got Mugman here. Did a really good job with these. Um, now here, got the, the full set on the back of this, which is, uh, Cuphead, Mugman, Devil, uh, King Dice, and Legendary Chalice. So now I'm actually, I'm very close to completing the full Cuphead set. So, um, the ones I'm missing are the King Dice Chase, the Legendary Chalice, and the Walmart Mugman. Uh, those are the Walmart Cuphead, where he's, uh, running. And, um, so, yeah. Um, and I'm just, I'm, because I live in Canada, um, I probably won't get in the, the Cuphead Walmart thing for another six months. Because Walmart's pretty bad with um, Walmart Canada, they get them in so, like, a lot, like, a huge amount of time after they're released in the U.S., which kind of sucks. Because uh, I think the- I'm not sure when the Toy Freddy was released, the Toy Freddy Walmart exclusive. I think it was probably released in, like, early 2017, but it showed up around August in, um, in Canada, I think, I believe. At least. Well, anyways, I will just um, take these guys to the box and show them to you. All right. So here are the figures out of the box. Um, I'm gonna start off with Mugman. So Mugman, they did a really good job on this, I think, um, with the design of the pop. This one also has a stand like Cuphead, because I don't think they can really stand up by themselves. Um, well, anyways. Yeah, they did a really good job on this. I don't really see many paint errors. I don't see any paint errors on this, actually. That's actually really good that there's no paint errors on this, because most Funk Pops I have have at least, like, a little paint error or something. Like, for example, my Cuphead Chase had a little smear on the leg. And then my some of my Freddy Funkos have, like, little smears in the back of the head. But this one, I actually see nothing with it. That's pretty good. Except for the little overlapping of the tongue there, but you can't really see that. that they kind of see that, I guess. Um, anyways, they did a really good job with this pop, I think. Um, can't really say much about it. Just um, translates really well a Funko form, pop form. And here we actually, we here we have the devil. Uh, this is actually I wasn't quite I didn't really want to get this pop, but now that I have it, it's actually really cool. And I I do want to um, complete the Cuphead set, but now that I do actually have this, this is a really cool pop. Um, so. Don't see really many paint errors on this one either, which is really good. Um, anyways, I, I like how they had the stance where he has the poker chips and stuff under there, and he has the trident and the cards. It looks really good. There is nothing on the cards on here, actually, which is... That would have been really cool, though, if they had actually put something on the cards right here. But it's pretty hard to probably get in there, anyways. But anyways, they did a really good job on this pop, but anyways... Look at that nose! <laughs> it's huge. It's a huge nose. It's like bigger than the neighbor's chin. <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. The neighbor's chin is bigger. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you want to see more Funko. Um, there is actually a new, um, oh, so I'm focused here. Camera. Not sure why. There we go, that's better. 
Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, as I said. Um, leave a like if you want to see more Funko, and I will post uh, another Cuphead video when I get some more of these pops. I hope to get the Chalice or King Dice Chase next, because I do know a couple places that are just a few minutes away from where I live that I can get those pops. Um, well, anyways, and also please subscribe if you already haven't, um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!